I've been working with Kim Plow on designing some lights, so it's kind of nice having the access to the space while I create it because we talk a lot about kind of what I'm looking for as far as visuals go. And um, I had a lot of specific props and uh, set pieces that I had come into the space with that I knew I wanted to use, but I wasn't sure how I had planned to use them yet. So we've been exploring things like that in like this plastic. Uh, the floor will be white as well. So the room will be a white room. Today we just didn't have that floor down. Like I said, I'm just I'm just now putting the piece together, so I have some I, I have specific ideas already. Um, like the choreography that I'm making now is still in the process, so still a lot of it is an exploration. So I had said before that um, Around 2005, I was diagnosed with a very serious illness, and it actually, um, for about two years, I had a hard time continuing to work as a dancer. I, I had to, I, I did continue to work, but I had a lot of issues around my health. And so at that point, I decided to shift away from being a dancer and move in towards um, directing the company that I, that I started. So I became, I shifted from being a dancer for hire to actually uh, directing my own dance company and basically working with the people I wanted to work with and collaborating as opposed to being someone else's dancer. And then um, I also tore my knee uh, about a year and a half ago. So there was a couple of issues around my health that, that really um, made me start to think about who I am as a performer and what I do as a performer because I used to be quite, um, my interests used to be quite different from what they are now. I used to be quite sort of my body was more capable of throwing itself around. I did a lot of like crash and turn type dancing, I call it. <laughs> so, and whereas now I'm, I'm more interested in finding kind of clearer images or trying to find more theatrical content to the to the dance that I make. Um, I think so. I have to say that I came out of physical theater in the eighties. And I think that the work that I make now is more is more relative, or yeah, it's related more to what I used to make as an actor, as a theater mm -hmm. performer, um, than I did as a dancer. I think my interest as a dancer has really shifted in the definitely in the last few years. I spent some time living in Europe, and that influenced the the kind of work that I wanted to make and how I approached it. And I have to say that it really does remind me of the theater that I made in the eighties. So the way I approach it purpose ma materials that people would normally throw away. And I discovered these little squares of this material. And I just took it, I took one square to see, just to see what it would be like to play with it. And I really liked it, so I found that the biggest piece they had I bought. <coughs> and I knew I wanted to use it. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it for this show or not. But I just loved uh, the science fiction quality. <laughs> like it reminds me of, in the, you know, in the 70s, when they would like want to indicate that something strange was going on to somebody's body, or they were mm. scanning and they would put them inside this kind of holographic mm. yeah. device. And so for me, this really, it just was a really simple way of, of um, conveying that same idea, like my memories of science fiction, like the really low-fi <laughs> science fiction I watched as a kid. Well, definitely.